Email. What's up, everyone? I know nobody's in here yet, but I just want to say hi. Let me say hello. I'm sorry. I don't want to be rude. Let me speak. Y'all already know from the looks of just watching that little bit right there that this video is definitely, I'm, I'm definitely, y'all, please believe me, is about to be on some whole different, some whole BS. Some whole clownish, some whole lying behavior, okay, type of tip. That's what this is getting ready to be on. Y'all already know that when Bruno, <laughs> when Bruno is on the camera and she not trying to give us the eye contact of what we deserve, we already know what's getting ready to go down. First of all, I wanted to apologize to you guys. That's number one. Bruno! Bruno, I know you just ain't come up on here and say that you want to say sorry. You want to apologize. Uh-huh. You, 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 you want to be back in our good graces. Absolutely, because you have been on your platform over there acting like a complete psychotic lunatic. Uh, lunatic. You like to wear these shirts, you know, with the little stuff all over and little writings and everything and, and you know, like that or whatever. Um, Bruno, get yourself a Looney Tunes t-shirt. Not only do I want you to get you a Looney Tunes t-shirt that says Looney Tunes on it, but I want it to be something bold, something great. I want it to be like hot pink. I want it to be like uh, 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 neon green. Um, I want it to be like a neon yellow. I want like sparkles. I want it to be like, ah, yes, I need you to have one of those on. Bruno, when I think about the things that you do when you come up on here... Mm -hmm. when you are mad because see the reason why you have been acting the way that you have been acting because you do this all the time that we got you down to a science okay this is not something new every time you come up on here and you show out okay because it doesn't you know what I mean it does not surprise us Okay, every time you come up on here, we already know that, oh, yeah, Bruno is acting a little bit out of character. Um, Bruno is wanting to go back and forth with, you know, her um, fellow employees in, in YouTube land. All right. And Bruno is really trying to go hard. So normally when Bruno does that, that means, y'all, that a man has made Bruno upset. Something is all shooken up over there in Bruno land. That's what that means. <laughs> we all know that I'm going through stuff right now, obviously. And on top of me going through stuff, and I'm apologizing to my loyalty gang, to all the people who support me and love me. That's who I'm, that's who I'm apologizing to, okay? All right, so what you're telling us is that every time you're going through something, you want to get on here and you want to talk to people really, really crazy every time you're going through something. Do you think that in, that, that, that makes any type of sense? I was going to say, in your world, do you think that makes sense? I am sure you think that makes perfect sense. I don't know if you know... But I was sent here today to tell you that when you get up here and you act the way that you act and you screaming and you yelling, and this is the thing, I don't know if you can see it, but you may need to watch your videos over when you do this. Please watch them over because at times, I don't know if we are calling a 5150 for you. I don't know if you have COPD and you need some type of oxygen. I don't know if you need an asthma treatment. I don't know if anything, the way that you get me, you be acting. 
we be confused. You get hot. Uh-huh. We can tell your blood pressure just goes all over the place. We can tell that. We can literally see that there is something wrong. And again, I am saying, you look very, very loony. Do you not realize that none of us on here is scared of you when you get like that? None of us. None of us. But what gets me is that every time you get into it with a man and there's some type of issue or whatever, or maybe you're so upset because, you know, your husband has the kids and Nisha got them over there looking beautiful. Yes, she does. Yes, she and Gerard, they have them kids looking good. When those kids are with you, Bruno, I'm sorry to tell you this. But you already know Reese going to say it. They look horrible. Mm -hmm. They don't match. They look raggly. They look very unkept. Every time that we have seen those kids come up on to his platform over there at Instagram. And he takes a picture of them. They are very well put together. They look like they are being fed a nutritious meal. Because you know that you and Jasmine, uh-huh, your bestie, don't know nothing about nutrition. Okay. And Jasmine, I saw the little video that you did or whatever. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Because you watched my video. Uh-huh. And you tried to go ahead and slide something, you know, some vegetables in there, some fruits. No, I'm going to get you. But anyway, you know that to us, and you're the mother, and you're over there on your IG... And um, you're posting things about your kids. They're doing their homework. You love them and this and that and that. But when they are with you, Bruno, they don't look loved at all. So what I'm saying to you, Bruno, something that you want to get mad about is this right here. When your kids are brought back to you, why don't you try to be an upstanding mother? Not having them running around here looking all crazy like nobody wants them. Like they have gotten all of their clothes from the lost and found box in the nurse office of their school. That's how you have them looking. But yet, you get up on your camera and you swerve them baby heads and you swerve and you swerve and then when you get on camera uh-huh you play with your hair you play with your hair if you would take some of that time into putting it into what you do with your kids instead of coming up here on this camera things might look a little bit better for you see when you are over there and you are screaming and you are yelling and you are calling everybody all types of names or whatever. You are putting messages up on Instagram. You get what I'm saying? And you're really talking to a certain person, but we already know how you get down. I have, you know, I've been acting a little cray cray. I'm not gonna lie, it's obvious. Um, like I said, I'm going through stuff. If you are going through something, you shouldn't bring your diary of a mad black woman up onto your camera we know there is nothing african-american about you but yes bruno aka karen moving on and i actually am a very con uh confrontational person i really am <laughs> that's weird confrontational <laughs> tell us something that we didn't already know bruno like i don't like when people talk ish to me I don't like when people try to challenge me. I don't like any of that. Just when I think that you cannot conjure up or say anything more stupid than what you say, you say that. Okay, moving on. Like I come back, I always come back with something. Now, I guess that's something I need to work on with myself. I absolutely agree. Yeah, you need to um, work on that because every time this happens to you, it just makes you look like, I mean, loony. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why are you coming on here? This is not an apology. What is this? 
girl, girl, Bruno. It's 2022. All right. It's 2022. And it's not even March yet. And you always continue to just do the same thing over and over. Like, you don't like change or something. You can't handle it. You say that you've grown and you're so proud of yourself and this and that. Are you on medication? If not, you should really look into getting um, an evaluation. Maybe they could prescribe some lithium. You know, something around those lines to keep you from being unhinged. I need to stop coming back, I guess. Um, maybe that will have better results than me always coming back and having to talk my ish. But that's just who I am. You know, that's just who I am as a person. Like, if you're going to talk to me, if you're going to talk crazy to me, girl, I'm going to talk crazy right back to you. That's how I am. Okay, so the only thing I'm thinking that would literally help you would be a muzzle or, hey, I got one for you. You trying to get to 100K? Bruno Gorilla Glues her lips together. That will get you to 100K. You like to put up GoFundMes? That will get you where you need to be. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Thank me later, Bruno. Thank me later. I really do need to get it together. And I need to stop being like that. It just doesn't do nothing for me acting like that. And I know myself and I know that I have so much more to offer than bullshit and drama. You have nothing to offer us um, except for uh, acting as if you were a two-year-old, um, uh, running around getting tattoos on your face, um, cleaning videos where you literally are half cleaning the haul videos are horrific and terrifying. Um, what, what I, and not only that, but you can't even match your clothes. So that lets us know that you don't even know your colors. What goes with what? What patterns go with what patterns? Uh, if there's something that she has to offer us, let us know. Okay, um... Other than that, I could say what pregnancy test works the best, maybe? Because we see you take each and every brand. Moving on. And, I mean, I might always be drama-filled. Who knows? That's just the way my life is going at the moment. But I have so much to offer than going back and forth with the bitch. Like, I have so much more to offer. And I've proved that, like, a million times. I just wanted to apologize and tell y'all that I'm sorry that... You know, y'all saw the ugly side of me last week. The ugly side of you? Um, no. The selfish side of you? The immature, childish side of you? The unrelatable, no common sense side of you? The envious side of you? The selfishness? side of you the not making sense ever side of you the narcissist side of you the compulsiveness of your lies side of you the jealous side of you because you are so jealous it seeps out your pores it seeps out them tattoos right on your arm where it says la it seeps out of the l and the o the s the A, all of it, it seeps out of your skin. Yes, it does. The neck tattoo that really has Zolo, um, Lorenzo name underneath of it, and you got something tatted over it, it seeps out of there as well. Absolutely. Dear God, he's so good. He reminded me of this. Let's not forget bitter side of you. B-I-T-T-E-R, bitter. You should get bitter tattooed underneath your other eye and next to the bee you should get a sunflower and get bitter in bold letters 
<laughs> Somebody already going through something and then people are trying to try them, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it's going to be an explosion. No, 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 no. Bruno, take that back. You do not pop like a bubble. You're not a bubble. You are more so of a boulder. A boulder. Yeah, a boulder. That That's the type of um size that you are. I, mean, I would love it. I would love it. I would love it. And I would love to live in a world where people kept my name out their mouth, left me alone. With that being said, I need to reel it in. And I really need to, like... I really need to figure out how to check myself. Bruno, did you just say check yourself? There's no way that you could check yourself. You wear clothes that don't fit whatsoever and you can't check that. You don't understand that. So the only thing that I think maybe you could do is before you decide to go ahead and open your mouth, um, put a uh, shopping bag over your head tie it towards the front go get inside of your shower turn it on to hot water and stand underneath the shower head when you begin to get extremely hot and hyperventilate that should let you know that you should be quiet <laughs> that's what you should do okay that is exactly what you should do like girl Chill out. Because people really think I'm not about it, but I'm really, really about it. Girl, stop with the about it. Stop. You can't fight your way out of a mm -hmm. paper bag. You cannot fight your way out of a paper bag, girl. Stop it. That's the problem. And I need to, like, chill the hell out. Especially when you're already feeling some type of way. It's just easy to blow up, pretty much. And I feel like that's exactly what I did. People just keep trying me. But I need to know how to control myself, even when I'm being tried. You feel me? So, definitely going to work on that, y'all. So, like I said, y'all, my bad if I, I don't know, just brought unnecessary bullshit to y'all last week or this, this last week. And... It was just unnecessary and I really don't want to be like that anymore. I try to be strong, but every now and again, I, I pop like a bubble, okay? And I go off, it's just, it's just normal. Maybe there's other women out there that are going through shit themselves and they feel like doing the, they feel like going off like, oh, I went off, girl. But you know what? I'm here to tell y'all, baby, it's not worth it. Just do your thing, okay? Stick to what you're good at. Do your thing, mamas. Okay. With that being said, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and slide up on off of here. And y'all already know, I'm going to see you people in what's the next video. Later.